Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog. This is Mimi Guapa. This morning, we shall have another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. This book was written for people who are wanting to have a deeper connection with Jesus. This book contains practical lessons which will guide you to have an enriched life and a happier life. And we are creating a reading about these devotionals because we wanted to bring the gospel to people who are always on the go and are struggling to have a daily communion with Jesus. We are recording this every day. We started on June 9, 2022 and now it's already July 21. We're almost two months doing this and we wanted you to be a part of it. Subscribe in our channel and may these videos be included in your daily playlist so that you can listen to this on the day it was supposed to be listened to. And your religious affiliations do not matter here. As long as you are a Christian wanting to develop a relationship with Jesus, well, these the videos were created for you. So let's get on with our reading for today. July 21, Leaves from the Tree of Life. Before we continue on, may I invite you to please seek the Lord with me in prayer. Shall we close our eyes and bow our heads as we seek the Lord in prayer? Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given unto us. We thank you, Lord, for this blessing that you have showered upon us, that we can partake your words as we will have our daily devotional reading for today. May you bless each one of us, Lord. May you open our hearts and our minds that the Holy Spirit will work within us and it will touch us and transform our lives for the better. Guide each one of us, Lord, and we entrust to you our will. We entrust to you our lives. This we ask in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. Leaves from the Tree of Life, July 21 And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. John chapter 6, verse 35 The world is perishing for want of truth, pure, unadulterated truth. Christ is the truth. His words are truth. When the believer in the fellowship of the Spirit can lay his hand upon truth itself and appropriate it, he eats the bread that comes down from heaven. He enters into the life of Christ and appreciates the great sacrifice made in behalf of the sinful race. The knowledge that comes from God is the bread of life. It is the leaves of the tree of life which are for the healing of the nations. The current of spiritual life thrills the soul as the words of Christ are believed and practiced. Thus, it is that we are made one with Christ. The experience that was weak and feeble becomes strong. It is eternal life to us if we hold the beginning of our confidence firm unto the end. All truth is to be received as the life of Jesus. Truth cleanses us from all impurity and prepares the soul for Christ's presence. Christ is formed within the hope of glory. The truth is to be partaken of every day. Thus, we eat the words of Christ, which he declares our spirit and life. The acceptance of the truth will make every receiver a child of God, an ear of heaven. Truth that is in the heart is not a cold, dead letter. There is fullness of truth in the truth. There is nobleness in the life of the human agent who lives and works under the vivifying influence of the truth. Truth is sacred and divine. It is stronger and more powerful than anything else in the formation of a character after the likeness of Christ. When it is cherished in the heart, the love of Christ is preferred to the love of any human being. 
This is Christianity. Thus, truth, pure unadulterated truth, occupies the citadel of the being. This is the life of God in the soul. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 The end for today's reading. What a wonderful reminder for us brothers and sisters in Christ that we must open the Bible for us to seek the words of our Lord because the leaves that fall from the tree of life are those the truth that are seen in the Bible. We may often ask God, God, please speak to me. But we forgot that His words, His guidance, were already written way before we were born. And we can find all of them in His Holy Word, in the Bible. So it must be a struggle. But that is the reason why we have this daily devotional reading, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. That you will be able to open your Bible. That you will be able to be transformed by the words of God and the vivifying truth that can only be found in His scriptures. May tonight, I mean this morning, because it's still dark, I'm so sorry. <laughs> May this morning, we will all be refreshed. We will all be renewed by the message that we have read. And that we will open the Bible. We will open God's message to us. Not just in the morning. But also in the noontime. In the evening. And whenever we have the time to be remembered. Or to remember our Creator and our Lord. Because... It is such an irony, but the more we bend our knees, the more we bow our heads, the more we will be exalted. The more we will be able to stand up, the more we will be able to face life challenges. Because this life is not our ours. This battle in this world is not our battle, but this is the Lord's. And if the Lord is supreme in our lives, He will make us supreme in this world and in the world to come i hope this is your goal my dear brothers and sisters in christ and if this is yours may you leave a comment in our comment section please also leave a like please share this devotional reading for today and for the people whom you think will be inspired by this thank you everyone for listening may god bless you always Adieu.